It's paramount that we also hear from public health experts. NBC's Dr. John Torres talked with a group of them about the crucial factors that parents need to consider when deciding whether to send their kids back to the classroom. As schools struggle with reopening safely, NBC News reached out to five top pediatricians across the country, a random sampling of doctors to find out just how dangerous the coronavirus is for kids. Our experts agree most children don't get as sick as adults and that serious complications are rare. This has been a strange pandemic because usually for respiratory viruses, children are the first and the most substantially affected. And this has really been a flip of that where it's our adults and particularly our older adults that have been more affected. In fact, kids only account for 2% of all cases. Doctors say they don't expect that number to significantly increase when schools open because kids don't appear to be good at spreading the virus. Are kids as good at transmitting the virus as adults? The data that's come out now um, seems to show that most transmissions occur from adults to adults or adults to children. The younger you are, probably the less likely you are to be able to transmit the disease. While many teachers are concerned about reopening school so soon, the five doctors we spoke to agreed. The benefits of being in the classroom far outweigh the risk of disease. But the key is to reopen safely. We are... Uh, not seeing transmissions when we're following some simple guidelines. I think each school system is going to have to come up with their own guidelines because you can't just say that one city is just like the next. All agree guidelines should include rules for social distancing. Keep desks three to six feet apart and make sure desks aren't facing each other. Schools may want to consider holding gym classes outside. In your perfect world of sending kids back to school, what would you like seeing set up in those school systems? They should try to um, increase the airflow in the classrooms, um, try to distance as much as possible. I have been doing a lot of um, research looking into face masks. I don't think they're um, necessarily useful in elementary school children. They do um, provide protection, I think, for high school students. Would you let your kids go back to school? I will. My kids are looking forward to it. Yes. Period. Absolutely. Absolutely. As much as I can. <laughs> Without a hesitation. Without a hesitation, yes. I have no concerns about sending my child to school in the fall. I would let my kids go back to school. Dr. John Torres, NBC News. They all said yes. Millions of children around the world are already back at school.